Hello, welcome to the channel. And again today, I'm gonna do a box opening here on Germantown, which is part of the Battle of the American Revolution series. This is volume seven. And this put out by GMT Games. Mark Mikhailos and uh, Bill Madison are the game designers on this. And this is Washington Strikes Back. So apparently Washington makes a big comeback in this game, October 4th, 1777. And um, if you've been following along in the other box openings, I'm trying to accumulate all of these uh, American Revolution, Battles of the American Revolution series, because uh, it's something that I'm quite interested in and look forward to playing and learning about. This is the typical inch and a half, it looks like, size box. And uh, on the back, we have some of the history. And then we do have uh, an overall view of the map here. And, you know, like, like all this, games in this series the maps are just fantastic game counters this one complexity is five uh, solitaire suitability is down on a four so it's kind of lower than other games we'll see uh, eventually why that would be unit size is battalions regimen time is one hour per turn and the map is 200 yards per hex so now again, these games uh, I've been trying to find because they are out of print, and so I've been finding them. Now uh, this particular one is a used game, but uh, the gentleman that I bought it off of really took care of his games. It's really, uh, really done a nice job saving this game in pristine condition. Uh, like all these games, it the, comes with a series rule book, which covers all of the uh, great battles of the American Revolution. And these are the standard instructions for moves, turns, a sequence of play, the stacking order, or stacking I should say, zone and control, the rifle fire, defensive artillery, close combat. So all of these games fall along these, uh, this primary set of rules here. And this particular one is 11 pages, 11 pages long. And this one is June of 2010. Now there's an updated version on the GM, uh, GT, GMT site and uh, it's going to be the current version and have the most up-to-date rules on uh, the series rulebook so I'd recommend going there and reading that one that's what I've been reading and then we have the exclusive rulebook and this one's for Germantown and um, this one it looks like let's see it's not it's not too bad actually this this one's uh, quite short all right, so yeah, we have seven pages of special rules in this particular game. So, how to win special rules. Uh, and we have the Germantown combat units and replacement counters. So apparently there's some counters on there that are replacement for other games. It looks like, yeah, the Battle of Brandywine. So preparation in place. So this, this actually starts on page three. And then um, page four is how to win. Then we have some special rules for this particular game. Oh, we got a panic here. Oh, I believe this one. I'm not sure. I watched one and I believe this one is the one that has um, one of the commanding officers arrives to the battle drunk. And he goes all different ways. And I think that might be this particular game. I don't know. Don't go up, man. If I got that wrong, guys, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I thought once I saw that game, I thought, oh, I got I to gotta play that. So, uh, American Surprise, Wayne's Fury. Okay, British Reinforcements. So yeah, special units in this game. It talks about the special units that are uh, particularly this game. And then it gives a historical summary. And these are always, to me, just a blast to read. I mean, if you like any historical uh, information on the battles that you're recreating, uh, this is well worth the time to read. And the British Force, Continental Army, um, Order of Battle here. And then we have our game pieces, both the front and the back sides here. And sequence of play on the back page here. All right, so player aid card. And again, these cards are always uh, the same. You generally get two of them. And this one is just a single sheet, which is nice. Uh, Pensacola and Monmouth is both have um, uh, a fold out so they have a little bit more in the way of uh, uh, charts and graphs that you have to work with but this has tactical matrix close combat which is pretty much um, on all of them close combat uh, dice roll modifiers 
unit morale, damage table here. So yeah, so army morale adjustment, leadership summary. So not too bad actually. And uh, it makes it easy when both players have it that you can just cross index at the same time and know what's happening. We have our map here, which I will, I will come back to in a sec. And of course we have the British die and the American die, which are 10 sided. And this person here even included a nice little tray for me. So I don't have to do that. And all the pieces are uh, corners are rounded already. So I don't have to do that. So, uh, I kind of like getting kits like this that, um, are really set to go. Cause this is sort of one of the first things I do is pull everything out, round off the corners and get it ready. And he's even got the tactical cards all have covers. So that's nice. And the nice thing is that these can be used in any of the games of the American Revolution. So, you know, I could just use these with the covers already. And the tactical cards, the way that they're played is that uh, the British get one, the, Amer the Continental Army uh, person gets one, and then they pick what they want to do on each close combat, and you reveal the cards, and you just cross index them with whatever the other person shows, and that's going to give a plus or minus to the uh, die roll modifier. So that can add up, uh, you know, and help you out or really be bad for you, depending on which direction you go. Because you can see that some of them are plus, some of them are minus. And finally, we come to the map. And the map has a nice layout of the map key, which has all of the terrain there. Fog table. So we have fog that comes into uh, um, effect. Uh, Stevens or Stefan's uh, movement table. I would say it's Stevens and uh, game turn track here so we have 10 turns here so this game goes from 5 20 a.m uh, to 2 20 p.m so it looks like it just uh just goes for yeah just goes for a day one morning and we open it up and you can see that we have um, a nice little road running down the middle going through a town right here biggerstown the guards town biggerstown and um Sorry, I'm reading upside down, so apologize. It's a nice map. It's got a little bit of a gloss to it. Uh, the paper is, is pretty thick. So this would be, and it, you know, it's their standard size 22 by 34, I guess it is. Uh, standard size on those, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 22 by 34. So we, we have the um, morale track right there and we have the time track here and then captured and eliminated because those go to add points to the victory conditions on the game and yeah that's that's a nice looking map got a little a lot of roads here little bridges boards so another game another american revolutionary game that i'm looking forward to playing and uh, i will be recording some of my plays when I can uh, with these games, especially if I do them solitaire, if I can do them solitaire, I will definitely be recording them. And uh, hopefully you've, you'll subscribe and be there when I play Germantown from the Battles of the American Revolution. That was the box opening here, it was rather quick. Hopefully you like it. Please do subscribe and uh, give them, give a thumbs up if you like my review. If not, uh, give me two dislikes, okay? Just hit it twice because you're so angry. But thanks for watching. Hopefully be around for the next box opening or gameplay.